Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today's video is going to be a little different than my normal videos, because today we're going to be talking about um, one of the new scientific discoveries lately, um, the black hole. Let's get started because I have a lot to talk about today and <laughs> whew, I'm out of breath. I ran downstairs just to get something. I'm out of breath now. Oh, okay. So there's so much to talk just about. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So let's just kind of dive into it. Um, so this is the official picture that has been taken of the black hole. So you can see I'm in an arrow, the middle part, the darker part is considered as a black hole, and then the outer parts are actually a ring of gas. And so we're going to talk about facts um, and just some theories in general. I'm kind of excited. Um, so yeah, let's go. And this is also available in my science notes folder, so um, it will automatically be updated. You guys can go and access this document in the science folder in my notes course on Google Drive which is linked down below, so you guys can go check this one out. Um, okay, so, <coughs> excuse me. So there's a lot here that I've wrote, written, wrote, in, written, wrote, what, okay. I'm just confused right now. <laughs> um, so I have a lot of things I need to talk about in general, and let's just start talking. So the first one, um, first one is, this black hole is 55 million light years away from Earth and the solar system in general, um, which is sophisticating because uh, I don't think it's been like that a long time. I feel like this, I have a feeling that this came closer to us because of the size it is, and we'll talk about the size, I think... It was already made a very long time ago, and it's just gotten closer to our reach that we can now physically see it with really high-powered telescopes. And so, you know, that's just kind of the first fact. I'll also be talking about just what's going to be happening in the future. The learning style might change just overall for science because of this new discovery. So there's so much to talk about. <laughs> um, but another one, another fact is this... The black hole itself is 20 billion miles across. So, basically, is if I would drive my car 20 billion miles away, I'll reach the end. If I start at one point at the end, I'll reach the other end. 20 billion miles, which is insane. I don't even think anyone in this world has driven 20 million miles in their entire lifetime. I'm not sure I have to research about that, but that's kind of insane. Thinking about 20 billion miles? Billion. If it was like 20,000, I could see someone maybe driving 20,000 miles. But, it's 20 billion miles. And you can see on this snapshot, it looks really short. Um, just um, a lot of people refer it as to a donut because it just kind of looks like a donut. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, but that's that. So, the next one is, the gravity force of this black hole is so powerful that even the light can't exa escape it. So, um, let's just quickly talk about how a black form, black, black form, what? Black hole, um, forms is, it's a star that would clash, um, and it gets broken or it's, um, it's, you know, just breaks due to the gravitational pull and it, what happens is when it breaks, all of the min minerals and rocks and everything start to go in this circle of the gravitational pull. And it makes something up called a black hole. And so then it gets super strong and things can't, everything that comes in the way gets into it. And so it gets stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. And um, it's just, it's really, it's just really a lot <laughs> to think about. Um... But the size of the black hole is the entire of our, like, is almost the entire of our solar system. So think about just Earth. Earth is super big. Super big. Jupiter, more big. And, yeah, so it's not saying that adding all the eight planets, including, like, some, like, dwarf planets in, is the size. It's saying... 
<coughs> the orbits. So, if you look at the solar system, it's a circle. And the orbits it goes to an entire circle. So, it's saying if you put this black hole on top of it, it will pretty much most likely fit the entire circle. So, it's really big that it can take probably everything into it. <coughs> um, so, it's super strong. Uh, so, this image itself took over 200 scientists to help take a shot of this image with their knowledge, with formulas, with their incredits, credit, cred credentials, excuse me, scientific knowledge. Um, and it's just really insane that it took 200 scientists that dedicated their life towards this, which was insane. Um, so, th like I've just talked about, but you can see the outer edges um, is the ring of gas. It's super hot, and I think I did a little typo, super hot there. Um, so it's really hot. It actually has a, like, the light uh, that got trapped into it. So it's now, like, this gas that's been because of the, when the star clashed. And now that gas is also circled up. So really everything just gets in there. It's insane. But this is 6.5 billion times more the weight than our sun. Which is even more insane because our sun is so heavy with the gravitational pull itself. And it's saying that it's 6.5 billion times more weight with the gravitational pull. Now, you obviously you can't touch this black hole because it's so hot. And when you try... You know, it's not going to work because you get into the orbit and like our Earth, like, you know, won't people try to pick it up? It could have worked maybe if our Earth didn't have a surrender layer, which would get us into the Earth. And with the gravitational pull, it will keep us, it keeps us um, on Earth. <laughs> if there was no gravity, would uh, the back... Like, when the Earth spins and what's ever on the bottom, wouldn't just, they would all fall pretty much down and everything would fall and they would be in space and somewhere lost. So, that's really insane. <laughs> yeah. Um, another fact is that this took eight giant radio telescopes all over the continent with perfect wind, uh, I was going to say weather conditions. You can see... Sometimes, not just wind, but weather in general, weather conditions, um, weather conditions to take this shot. So think about all over the continents. Oh, oh my God, I'm so bad at grammar sometimes. All over the continents, um, there is eight placed all over the continents. So not just North America, not just South America, but all over, uh, which is really insane to think about because all over the continents with perfect weather conditions which is even more harder because they might have a less chance of them working because of the weather conditions and all these other factors that are going to play in and so you know it's insane uh to think about but it's something to think about <laughs> um but it's super insane super fascinating but it's just itself <laughs> um and some other factors talking just about this black hole there's another black hole found in our galaxy that's about 20,000 miles away light years away I'm not sure but it's one or the other I haven't researched too much about this um it is smaller it is less frequent and I'll talk quickly about the frequency meaning that it's less frequent it doesn't is not absorbing as much as gravity as the bigger one is it's going super fast the big one the 55 million light years away one is going super fast it's getting so much gravity it's pulling in and it's just you know that now should you be scary scared for this that it's going to you know take our solar system but to be honest it's really fascinating and i don't think you have to be really scared for this because by the time if it does reach us i think our scientists knowledge will have reached it before it reaches us and we could ha find a way to do something to make earth just a more safer place um now i don't want to get those people concerned but this black hole is towards us right now so the rate it's going and the direction it's going, it's going towards Earth. It's self. It's literally like pinpointed towards Earth. 
Uh, but they're saying as a frequent um, frequency, it's spinning and rotating and taking gravity, it might move a different direction if, due to some other social or um, solar cause, that gravitational pull might pull it some other way, and that would be great. If it still continues coming towards us, that's totally fine. We can discover a little more about it, and we'll surely, you know, we'll find a break about it. And you know, they're sort of, they're sending things into space so that they can get better pictures and you know, just graphites and graphics and learn what the material is because we always thought this was a myth, but now it's becoming into real reality, which is just a step further towards our knowledge and it's just super insane and you know i just i hope this you know invention is such a good invention and it'll just turn super nicely and it's just so fun to think about and you know it's just a lot of fun to think about and i just hope everything goes well and if it goes well it's good if it doesn't we'll find a way to make it go well i promise guys <laughs> Um, but I think <clears throat> that concludes for this um, amazing video about the black hole. Um, if I do get further information, I'll put more videos about this topic if you guys loved it. I like doing topics like this that are related to the news as well. Some scientific, mathematical <laughs> discoveries that we can make. And I think overall, I not just want to talk about our environment, but I want to explore other people's environments and their point of views and their perspectives towards things that they have discovered and to just learn more off of it. Now, one topic I before forgot before I end forgot to tell is about learning changes. Um, scientists in, have already warned us that elementary standards are going to change for science due to this exploration. People are going to start learning more about it in younger ages because it's a really important factor now in our universe that we have to consider as part of it because it's a part of our universe now. It might have been a part of our universe so while ago and it's just is now coming into it, um, <clears throat> you know, towards our perspective and we can see and now maybe we are the people who are going to fix this and it would be amazing and a factor if we could fix it, we could find more discoveries because as scientists are saying, if we discovered something like this, there's a lot more to come and we're going to find so much more. Just just wait and watch and with our research because if we can just collect some of and more information about this black hole, we could get a lot of answers maybe of how they're forming, how frequent they form, how they work, um, what could cause, what happens, you know, could people still live if we enter into the black hole? Those questions are based off of a myth and people make things up with them. But maybe the truth is you could live in a black hole and maybe black holes aren't that bad. And as we get research and as we diaphragm, you know, the entire concept and we'll figure it out. And it will be super important for us to talk um, more about it. And uh, scientists, everyone just going to talk to each other. I think it's a really important factor just that plays in with the black hole itself. So that kind of concludes this today's video. Um... I'm really excited to just see what happens now. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And remember, just be quiet and good at school. Bye, guys.